Coming back to South Korea, the nation has seen its share of heat wave watches this summer, and Seoul has already had more than twice the number of tropical nights this year compared to last. The reason for the extreme temperatures is a phenomenon known as a heat dome. Yu Enshin explains further. The central part of the country, including the capital of Seoul and the coasts, have been suffering under a heat wave almost like no other. According to the Korea Meteorological Administration on Monday, Korea has already had four more days with heat wave warnings this year than last. The highs in the east central city of Pohang and the southern cities of Daegu and Changwon in July all reached over 36 degrees Celsius. Experts say the root cause of the sweltering days and tropical nights is a phenomenon known as a heat dome. A heat dome happens when an anticyclone or highly compressed air blocks air circulation and causes hot air to sink. As the sinking air gets compressed even further, it creates a dome of heat. This heat dome is driven by the expansion of North Pacific High, a kind of anticyclone containing highly compressed air. The air trapped in the dome affects the entire nation, creating the scorching conditions Korea is seeing now, even though the country is in the middle of the monsoon season. As the blistering hot weather continues through August, bringing more tropical nights, the nation can expect to see some record high temperatures this year. Under the effects of the heat dome, experts also project that the country could see a record number of tropical nights since the year 2000. Many more heat wave warnings are expected throughout the rest of the season, so area residents, especially children and the elderly, are advised to take preventive measures to avoid heat stroke and other heat-related illnesses. Yunshin, Arirang News.